the last beard trim of No Shave November is coming right up with Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements CAD. Stay tuned. Hi guys, thank you for joining me for another shave and scent of the day. This is going to be my last beard trim before, or the last beard trim of No Shave November. I'm looking forward to December the 1st so I can get this off. You can see I've got a nice bit of growth here for, you know, almost a month. Um, and I'm going to be excited to get that off. I mean, it's, it's pretty furry. <laughs> um, so my buddy James D., um, a viewer on here sent me CAD to try out. I had said that I wanted to try this out and I've never tried it before. PAA's um, one of their barbershop scents, one of the classic barbershop scents. Um, and he was nice enough to send me along with a bunch of other samples. So you'll be seeing some of those in the, um, in the upcoming videos and, you know, into the new year. Um, so thank you very much, James. I really appreciate it. So we're going to use that. We're going to be using the um, Razor Rock Game Changer 0.84 blade gap with a Voshkod in it and I know this is crazy but I bowl lathered my PA I'm sorry my uh, fine accoutrements bowl and my PAA um, amber aerolite brush so we're gonna get going it's a sample sometimes a sample I'll bowl lather sometimes I just you know load it from the bowl and then get it onto my face but Anyway, this is what we're using today. So we will get started. Um, I'll give you some scent notes on CAD once I get them off of my paper here. Um, talc, rose, bergamot, oak moss, vetiver, coumarin, and musk. Um, and it's definitely a nice powdery barbershop. And I'm just going to kind of, you know, edge it up again like I did last time. I'm not going to lather up my whole face like I did last time. Just going to touch this up. Get a little more water into it and I'll work that in. I hear Reed in there tearing stuff up. Please don't mind him. A little more water in there. Oh, well, whatever. It's hard to lather just one little bitty piece when you've got like a 26 millimeter knot. You're inevitably going to get it in more than just the places that you're edging. But this looks like it should do a fine job. Hope everyone has had a good day out there. I had a <laughs> rough end of the week and weekend at work, so I'm extremely happy to be off today. And my oldest, Reed, is starting basketball tonight, so I'm taking him to his first practice. Should be fun. Looking forward to see that monkey. See if he can play or not. Did you just call me a monkey? I did just call you a monkey. Monkey. Seriously, Daddy? Yeah, monkey. I'm a sweet monkey, though. You're still calling me a monkey. You prefer gorilla? No. Chimpanzee? No. Okay. Monkey. Oh, because I love you. I really love monkeys. Then why didn't you bring a monkey home? 
Well, they didn't have any monkeys at the store, so I couldn't bring one home. Never a dull moment around here. Very smooth, really nice scent. Nice powdery butter, barbershop. I like it. Uh, and this is the CK1 formula, which I never used that either. So cool to be able to take those off my bucket list at one time. No, I don't have a list in a bucket. Whoa. I miss shaving. I can't wait to take all of this off. All right. I did get um, Vespers. Vespers just came out again from Barrister and Man. And I did order that. That should be here in a few days. Also, I have a soap and splash coming from Shave326. If you haven't, if you're not familiar with his YouTube channel, please check him out. Check him out on Instagram. Can. He's now turning brushes as well, as well as what, as well as shaving, I guess. So put out some really nice looking stuff, especially for someone who just started doing it. So check his stuff out, Shave Three Twenty Six. We'll go one more time, why not? Go back the other way. And then I'll wash it off and I'll wash the lather off to see if I missed anything. Maybe tighten up the line here up top. It's kind of hard to see exactly where it is. Alright, let me rinse this off. Hard to believe how much hair is in this water from just a little simple edging. All right, let's see. There, I think I did a good job for a small amount of work. <laughs> and I only had this much left over. I guess we might as well take a look at it, right? Very nice. And you saw, you know, once I put this on, I 
certainly did not hydrate it all the way in the bowl. Um, but I mean, nice, thick, creamy lather right there. Really good stuff. Thank you again, James. I really appreciate it. That, uh, that one's going to be on my list to get along with 8,000 other things. All right, a little cold water on the face. Yes, I still have not washed my Lancaster towel yet, but I will. My beard off um, on December 1st, hopefully December 1st. Um, I will show that off. I will use my Wade and Butcher honed by, sha by Shave at Strike Gold by um, Frank at Strike Gold Shave. Um, and I'm going to use one of my um, new grooming department soaps. I'm not sure which one yet. Um, so stay tuned for that. All right. After shave. 11 Barbershop. But you know I love this barbershop. Beautiful rosemary bomb. Mm-mm-mm. Once again, if you haven't tried this one, you're doing yourself a disservice because it's great. And then we'll work in just a touch of beard balm I mean, I gotta at least let the video last a little bit longer. So, Barrister and Man Beard Oil. And I've been doing like eight drops. Eight. Funny how my kids love each other so much and they fight all the time. All the time. Have kids, they said. It'll be fine. It just keeps that hair from being quite so wiry. I do have pretty coarse facial hair, so it could certainly use this. Thank you guys so much for joining me. A much bigger shave coming up here in about three days. Yeah, about three days. So I'm looking forward to it. I hope you're looking forward to it. And I'll see you guys then. Have a great week.